Alright, what's happening with you? Street Life. We got uh, episode number uh, 27. You know what I'm saying? Today, we're going to be doing a little, um, giving uh, the 600 a little love. We got to throw a new sprocket on there. Um, what else? The air filter. And cut the uh, wire for the servo, the pan 30. You know what I'm saying? We got to cut that. Because uh, I just keep getting that. I guess I got a check engine light or whatever. So uh, I want to get that check engine light off. So. Without further ado, we're gonna get it. So obviously, you know what I'm saying? The first thing you wanna do is get your um, bike on the stand. We're gonna take this cutter pan out right here. And on the Suzuki, we got a 36 millimeter axle nut. Um, so I'm gonna get this cutter pan out. I think it's almost ready to come out. Let's see. Uh, grab right here. It's kind of hard to do it with one hand. Let's see. Go that way. There we go. Try to pan out. So now I'm about to grab my 36 millimeter uh, axle nut and um, take that axle nut off. The reason why I'm changing the sprocket is because it's an aluminum one. And as you can already tell, we got some teeth missing. Some of them sheared off. They go two, three, four. And I think this motherfucker bent. Oh, another one so yeah we're gonna be changing the sprocket out this is aluminum you know what i'm saying uh, vortex and i got the steel vortex right there so that's what we're about to be doing i might grab my uh, 36 millimeter right quick <clears throat> All right, so once you get get your axle nut nice and loose, nice and loose right there, you want to uh, take your your jam nut off right here. So this one is actually heavily stripped out. At some point, I think the next time we're gonna actually change that nut right there and go grab a new one. Um, but that's why I made these tools right here come in handy. There's a snap on, um, I think a flank drive plus. I think that's what they call it. It's 12 millimeter, and it's good for rounded off nuts. Ah, oh, yeah. See, run that back on the other side. Also, you also want to um, count your markings or whatnot, so that when you put it back together, you know what I'm saying, your stuff is properly aligned. I think that was the reason why this I was having this problem in the in the beginning, because uh, this one where we're right here is like showing like four, and over there we we're like five or six, so it was like kind of cricket. Um, and I think that that's what chewed up and bent the sprocket and all that shit. So by the time I got to it, it was kind of too late. So but let's see. Oh, let's go the right way. Shit's going the wrong way. This motherfucker's so fucked up. Oh, it's going the right way. Boy started his bike over there too but so basically you just pull that axle through or whatnot uh, these bearings or they're not even bearings they're like fucking spacers or whatever you gotta watch out because they will try to fall out so just remember how they go and where they go but this is why we basically change the sprocket let's see how many we missing we start there we got one two three four like close to four four to five of them you know what i'm saying but you know that's why we're changing it uh, i would never probably put an aluminum truck in on a street bike uh even if it's a 600 as you see you know what i'm saying but all right so we're gonna try to 
M12 stubby. We got a 6 0 battery on there on this sprocket. Let's see if we can zap them off. So we'll power on three. Yeah, so I'll use the um, M12 stubby right there. Nice little compact little impact wrench on these 14 millimeter nuts right here. Just on a little bit. And that's what's gonna secure your sprocket on. I'm gonna throw the new sprocket on, but I'm gonna retorque these bolts down to uh, that 44 foot pounds. You know what I'm talking about? That's not dumbass like. You also want to make sure you clean these little mounting surfaces or whatever, so you got a flat surface. Shit cleaned up. Yeah, man, this one's all toe up. So this one is a little heavier. This one is lighter. Aluminum is always going to be lighter than steel, but uh, you know you will have uh, less rotational uh, weight going on. You know what I'm saying? But this one is way stronger, bro. I wouldn't even put this, probably for a dirt bike or something, but street bike, bro, she got way too much horsepower and torque. Hey, before I get the uh, sprocket on, though, I'm about to try to clean this wheel up right quick, though. Try to get some of this, some of that shit up off of her shit that's on there. All right, so I kind of did my best I can do while, you feel me, I'm right here trying to clean this motherfucker. I'm just going to let it sit right here in the sun and dry it. And then right now, I'm going to try to get that pin 30. Try to cut that paint dirty while this shit drying it. All right, so while that wheel over there drying, we are gonna be taking off this seat to get the seat off. It's two four millimeter Allen. All right there. You got your other one right there. Lift the seat up like that. And it's gonna come up this way and then back. Set this on the ground. The pin, I, uh, this is the connector that I need. I wonder if I can just pull it off. Sometimes, you know, other people might have a, a lot more other stuff going on in here, but I think I'm gonna take this gray one off first, and then I'm gonna take that one off. Yeah, I think that that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna take this one off first, and I'm gonna take this one off. Should be able to flip it around, and our pin should be on the bottom, so I mean, yeah. Uh, let me try to get this all off first right quick. Okay, cool. Y'all see that 34? It's like 34 right there. You can faintly see it. On that bottom row where that um, black and white wire at, that's 34, the yellow one is 33. Whatever wire next to that, like a green and gray. And then the yellow, the next color one, that should be uh, 31. And then pin 30 is the one that's missing. You can actually take this front plate off right here. You can take that front plate off and actually deep pin it. And then it'll come out like this right here. You know what I'm saying? I'm gonna actually throw a little electrical tape or heat shrink over the end of that so we're not arcing out or, or short now, short to ground or short to power on that um, on that wire right there. But uh, but yeah, that's basically all we gotta do. And just because I got it off right now, I'm gonna throw some dielectric grease over the uh, over the front of those connectors right there. Y'all, you know I'm talking about some dielectric grease on there. Not too much. You feel me? A little, you know what I'm talking about? A little sham, sham, sham. So I would say, put it back together the same way you took it off, you know, in the reverse order. First it was that one, then it was that one. So first it's gonna be this one. When you put it back together, then you're gonna put that one on last. And we're gonna get back over to this wheel, see if it's dry. Should be nice and dry. Somebody, yeah, we nice and dry now. Good old sun and help me out, man. Yeah, let's put the sprocket on. You know what I'm saying? I'm trying to be efficient on here. All right, so when you're putting this sprocket back on, right, it is directional. You want the numbers 
and the brand on the outside. Far side, you want to go on the inside. You don't necessarily have to clock it. But just like that right there. You want to make sure you can read the uh, part number right there. And you can read the vortex. Take your bolts. And your impact. Or your ratchet or whatever you're using. You know, start them by hand. I always start stuff by hand, especially when I'm working with aluminum. Start these up by hand. And I'll probably cinch them down um, with the impact, but not all the way. Let's see. Let's see. Impact. Put them forward. You want to go on the star pattern. All right, so now I'm going to go get my, uh, my torque wrench and then torque these to 44 foot pounds. All right, so y'all know I got my uh, Milwaukee torque wrench, but it's saying my storage right now so i'm gonna be using this little cheap harbor freight one i got it set to 44 right now probably start with this one or we'll start with this one get it on there that one's tight that one's tight that one's tight Tight. All right, then go back to where we was at. All right, tight. 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 Yes, sir. Last one. Oh, it's good. All right, we're going back together now, so just make sure you got your spacers in there and they're on the right side or whatnot. You know, I kind of cleaned up the, the surfaces on both sides, too. And those. And then that one right there. But yeah, we're going back together now. And we're, we're going to go in through this way. Alright, so yeah, we came in through this way. Coming out right there. And we want to run our um run it back you know what i'm saying just basically adjust your chain all right so now um we got the chain nice and tight the chain ain't got a little a little movement I mean, it's probably gonna loosen up just a little bit but i like that right there you see that's where i like my chains at it will loosen up a little bit but you just want to match your marks there and match your marks uh right there you feel me and then um you want to torque this Axle nut to uh, it was like around like 72 foot pounds. If it don't line up, just back it back at the end after you torque it, just back it off into the closest line. So let's see where we at right now. All right, cool. So we right there. Good. I'm probably gonna um, back it off and get it right in that hole right there. All right, got the chain on there, locked in there. I got it nice and adjusted or whatnot. You probably gonna have to pump your um. Yeah, we're gonna pat the fluid back right there. All right, so now we're done with that. It's time to do the air filter. So basically, um, the jigsaw comes with this little little tank stand right here. It's usually back in there. If you still have it, if not, you can use anything else you want to use. Um, basically, you want to run all these bolts out. You got one, two, three, four, five, six. Seven, eight, nine, and then one in the middle. So hold on, let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So I think it's ten. Something like that. I'll take it off. So I, I'm doing a new little experiment. I'm trying something new. What I was trying to do was trying to see if I can uh, reuse the original um, 
air filter that came with the bike. So all I did was basically kind of clean it out. You know what I'm saying? And then I set it in the sun so it can dry or whatever. Um, I could put a cane in on there like with some of my other two bikes, um, but I just want to see how this works. Uh, supposedly those cane ins, they kind of have your intake throttle bodies and uh, velocity stacks. It kind of let a, a lot of oil and um, stuff through. So uh, if you actually want like a cleaner um, air box, I would say, or a cleaner um, air induction system, you know, you probably want to go with uh, your OEM, you know, air filter. So we're just going to pop, just going to pop that in there like that. Come on. I'm just gonna put this cover back on. It's a bolt down in there too. I'm trying to get my flashlight so I can see. All right, so we are just about done. Got everything buttoned up. I'm gonna go ahead and warm it up right now. Let's see, grab a key. And then we're gonna. Um, we're gonna lube the chain up. Jixer. Street Life, uh, I ran out of GoPro footage, so um, I had to pull over right quick at the park. Uh, the bike seemed like it's running pretty good. It seemed like um, like the major part of the bike problem. I mean, I mean, it didn't really have no issue, but like I can feel like when I was riding and stuff like that, I can feel like those uh those teeth like binding up on the chain and stuff like that. This thing is like gliding like butter now. You know what I'm saying? With the chain loop and the new sprocket. Uh, it's running pretty good. I was able to do a few little willies. Um, I don't want to, you know, do too much and shit like that because I had like hella uh, chain loop on the tire or whatnot. But um, but yeah, man, that was a good thing I did do that. Good thing I did catch that. 
uh because it looked like a lot of those teeth were about to get ready to uh get out i wasn't gonna have no damn teeth on my sprocket and uh who knows what could have happened um but yeah so i put the um put the new steel sprockets on there man the thing run way better and stuff like that uh i can't complain um tomorrow i'm gonna take it out a little more and uh ride it a little more and stuff like that but you know right now i'm just kind of pulled over chilling you know what i'm saying every everything worked out good so yeah get back to the house and uh edit this video right here you know what i'm saying if y'all like the footage you feel me go ahead and subscribe to the channel so that i can have uh more uploads and stuff like that be more encouraged um but yeah, other than that, I got a few interviews to go to tomorrow early in the morning. That's why I want to make sure I got everything done today. Um, but yeah, you know, so I did the air filter, uh, the servo um, wire, which was on the, the 1030 on the ECU. And then we did the chain and sprocket with the lube. And then we adjusted the chain. You know what I'm saying? Um, see all this. I kind of wiped it off. But if you can see right here. It's like fucking, I got a little chain lube and shit right there. So that's why whenever you lube your chain, uh, you want to lightly lube it. This one was super, super dry and stuff like that. It looks like it's been a while since it's been lubed. So um, I kind of had to uh, go ham on there a little bit. But we still got, oh, yeah, we still got, yeah, that chain good. You know what I'm saying? It's going to loosen up. It's going to loosen up. Don't even worry about it. But, um, but yeah, man, bike running good right now. Can't complain. I got a few people that's um, probably going to meet up with me this week to try to buy it. You know what I'm saying? Let's see if they serious about it or not. But yeah, that's it for this episode, man. Y'all uh, y'all stay tuned in. You feel me? I'm trying to upload as much as I possibly can right now. So uh, after you check out this video, go check out the other videos and stuff like that. Um, yeah, I got uh, videos with the R1. I got videos. I got two videos. Uh, I got a few car videos and stuff like that, and we got more content coming. You know what I mean? I don't want to leave, but I got to go. <laughs>